Week 19 was a very strong week for the season as well as the show in general up to this point in time. I'm not sure if you just heard that. Uh, one of my neighbor's dogs is um, seeking some attention. Poor guy or girl, whoever it is. But anyways, hopefully that won't be too distracting from our dialogue about this episode. This, I thought this episode was a great episode. It's a wonderful Sue Ellen episode. It focuses primarily on that girl right there. Um, before I forget about this, J.R. and Cliff Barnes have a confrontation, and they make a reference to week 17, which was the episode in which Bobby was kidnapped, and uh, J.R., had them shooting while Cliff was still there, so Cliff almost died, but he didn't actually die, and they get all upset about that. Now, I think I said during that week's review that I thought that would that episode would never be mentioned again, and I have to be honest, I was quite surprised that it was, and I have seen the season before in very quick succession, but never as if it was on air, which is the way I'm doing it right now. I have to be honest, in quick succession, I think I completely forgot about that episode and the reference in general. But when I was observing every episode as if that's it for now, that's as far as the story goes. It's, uh, I remembered it like that. Extraordinary how watching in quick succession, you can forget things. Uh, but I'm also doing reviews on it, so I'm paying really close attention to these things. Yes, yeah, Sue Ellen, uh, she got some backbone this episode. She finds J.R. cheating on her yet again. So she finally says, I've had enough. And she just up and leaves him. Runs back to Mom. Mom only wants Sue Ellen and her sister Kristen, which is... Uh, this is her debut. Um, she wants them to have money because she was poor. Uh, they were very poor growing up, so she um, is molding them to be the perfect wives. Now, Kristen, we'll hear a lot about her, not only in Dallas, but I believe she makes an appearance in uh, the spinoff show, Knott's Landing, which we will be getting to that next season. Um, but... For now, it's also good to know, this is a different actress playing Kristen than the one that everybody knows. So, how do I think she played the role? Well, in a way, it's a little bit of a different role than what came to be. Definitely not as big or as impactful to the storyline as um, the second Kristen becomes, but... I thought she was fine. I thought she did a, an okay job. There's really not too much to the character at this point in time, not too much to the mother character, than kind of what you see is what you get. That's about it for what's been happening. <laughs> um, no, I, I really did respond very well to this episode, and um, the moment that J.R. finds out that it's Cliff, he realizes that Sue Ellen can get down and dirty just as much as he himself, J.R. Ewing, like the biggest badass uh, villain character in television history. She gets just down and dirty just like him. And that's really fun to see that they're pushing against each other and it's creating sparks. And we who are watching what is essentially a nighttime soap opera, we really enjoy watching that, uh, that tension that's building and fuming between them. Now, when we get to the end of the episode, this is where things get a little bit tricky. Um... The end of the episode, Sue Ellen realizes that Cliff wants um, the role in the Senate and to beat J.R. more than he wants Sue Ellen's love. Now, he does love Sue Ellen. That is established. It's not just a way to get back at... Um, 
at JR, although Pam takes it that way. They have this big confrontation um, during the episode about it, which um, is a great acting moment from Victoria Principal. She's, she's a really good actress. I think she's perfect for the role. Um, and just, yeah, tensions build up to the point where Sue Ellen realizes that she literally has no one left other than J.R., who, and she tells him, it's probably not your child. It's probably your biggest enemy's child. It's probably Cliff's. And he says, but that doesn't matter because that child is going to be a Ewing and is going to grow up on Southwark. Now you can come along or it can be just like Gary and Lucy all over again. Ultimately, she decides to stay, probably against her better judgment. And that's where things left off with us for this week's episode. I did enjoy this week quite a bit. Um, I think the momentum of the storyline's really strong now. So I am definitely looking forward to this upcoming week's episode. We had a week off, and now this uh, we're switching days of the week as well. We're going to be on Tuesdays. Uh, for a brief period of time. Yeah, so this upcoming Tuesday is a new Dallas episode in the f complete first full season, so I hope you keep coming back with me um, to South Fork. <laughs>